Are you trying to teach your bull mastiff puppy its name? And have you ever thought that actually, how do you teach a puppy its name? Well, don't worry, because that is exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. Welcome back to the Femrear Bull Mastiff Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible Bull Mastiff and then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Bull Mastiff companions. So if you are new here and you love this breed as much as we do, then start by hitting that subscribe button, turning on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Bull Mastiff video. Now, I was going through my emails this morning, as I always do, and I had a really interesting one from somebody asking me, I've heard that I need to teach my puppy its name and it's one of the first things that I need to do and I'm getting my new bull mastiff puppy this weekend, but how do you actually teach a bull mastiff what its name is? I've not heard anybody show how to do it other than that you should do it. So don't worry, we're gonna talk about that exact thing now. Now, before we dive into it, this is one of the topics that is covered in my Perfect Puppy Program. The link is in the description box below. That's our 12 month step-by-step -step process to having a perfect canine companion, not only from obedience, but also perfect socialization and perfect canine manners. So if you are interested and you want more information or maybe see some of the testimonials from one of our thousands of very happy clients and customers, then again, the link to that is in the description box below. But the principle of teaching a puppy its name is a very straightforward principle. But what I want you to take away from this is that a dog has zero concept that it has a name. Your bull mastiff they don't have names between themselves. They have no idea that we are giving them a name. That is just a noise that comes out of our mouth. And what we need to do is utilize that noise that comes out of our mouth that we have decided is their name, not them, means something. A name becomes a command. And what we want that command to mean is look to me for guidance and direction because I am about to ask you to do something else. Whenever we're communicating with our dogs, if we ever use their name, it will you to usually come Take my bull mastiff, Roxy, over there. You can see her on that back wall and that beautiful piece of artwork. But it would usually come with Roxy, sit. Roxy, stay. Roxy, come. Roxy, ah, ah. What I'm doing is I'm utilizing the term Roxy and that became a command with look up to me because I'm about to ask you to do something else. So it would be Roxy, yes boss, sit. Yes boss. That's the relationship that we want with our dogs and that's all their name is. It means look up to me for guidance and direction because I'm about to ask you to do something new. So the thing that, the way that we teach that is very straightforward. We use a very positive food-based approach. We utilize a lure, mark and reward-based system. So what we do is we get a piece of food we get their interest, we get it in front of their nose, and then we draw their eyes up by bringing the food up to our nose, so the dog's now down, and when the dog's looking up at us, it's looking up at the food, but when the dog's looking up at us, we mark that with their name, it's a command, but we mark it with their name, Say, so we've got their attention with the food, we're luring them, we're bringing it up, they're looking up this way, Roxy, yes, good Roxy, good Roxy, yes, get praise, they get the reward. And we slowly start to layer that up and we get to a point where we have the food and we say their name and maybe their eyes are glued to the food down here, but we'll wait and we're patient and when we get that glance up to us, yes, good, and they get the food. And we just practice that and we drill it. And the way that we do it as part of our Perfect Puppy Program is that we include that as one of the drills in our Fenrir Basic Obedience Drill. It's the drill that we start with, with uh, brand new puppies, and then we use that drill as a warm-up drill for some of the more advanced obedience, just to kind of fine tune our dogs, get them into work mode, get them in that relationship, get them focusing on us so that we can then teach the more advanced thing like advanced heel or recall and getting those perfect. But we utilize that little drill, getting them to look up to us for guidance and direction. We mark that with their name so that whenever we use that name, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, maybe they're about to run out in front of a road and we say, Roxy, what we want to do is be able to get them to go, yeah, S stay, sit, come and we can control them with that we're not having a conversation with our dogs it's simply a command look up to me for guidance and direction because further instructions are about to come that i need you to listen to because i am your calm consistent leader i am in control of this situation and i please need you to do as i'm about to ask you that's all the name means so i hope you found that helpful if you did make sure you click that thumbs up button if you've got any questions about bull mastiffs whatsoever from their history and origins to temperament to bull mastiff training behavior modification bull mastiff canine 
and I psychology, I'm more than happy to help. And if you've got the question, I can guarantee there's other people that have that same question. So leave them in the comment section below and I'll more than happily be able to help answer those questions in a video like this. There's two videos specific to Bull Mastiffs coming to this channel every single week. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that I'll see you on the next episode of the Femoral Bull Mastiff Show.